Zimbabwe has close to 1,8 million persons with disabilities, and when the country's economy collapsed in 2008, the majority of them became poorer and some are still living in poverty. They suffer discrimination in terms of legislation, environments and attitudes. With this background, the National Association of Societies for the Care of the Handicapped, or NASCO, came up with an advocacy program to address the bigger picture in terms of the issues surrounding persons with disabilities. Realizing that there was less than 10% participation of people with disabilities in Zimbabwe's electoral processes after a survey of the voting patterns, NASCO embarked on a five-year program dedicated to ensuring that people with disabilities exercise their constitutional right to vote. The program, running in 14 districts across the country, is also aimed at facilitating their inclusion in governance systems. With 7,126 persons with disabilities who participated in the constitution making process, also as officers collecting data about the views of persons with disabilities, we had also to look at the ability of our member organization. We wanted them to be strengthened that they can represent disability issues, make government accountable for its action. Another organization that had an impact on the program was the Zimbabwe Association of the Visually Handicapped. This was one of the most successful districts, especially in the referendum, where we recorded the highest voter turnout. We were able to convince the public about participation of persons with disabilities because we were able to present a face of disability in active participation, so people were convinced. The electoral intervention was able to reach out to over 50,000 people with disabilities with voter education, has trained 400 people with disabilities as election observers in Zimbabwe, and has facilitated the acquisition of birth certificates for over 5,000 people with disabilities. Although empowerment to vote and be voted for was the major focus of the program, the human rights training availed in the participating districts awakened entrepreneurial instincts and strengthened the resolve of people with disability to take charge of their lives and uplift their well-being in society. I've been trained to live independently uh, through Ariab. I'm a business lady. I own a clothing shop. I'm able to take care of myself, my son, even my mother. Kubani disability is starting a new life, starting a new page. Ipo pana kazi usanga na neva mo wachita roboti inindiri muri mi dika ja muna sanga wani kuita muri mi wakani challenge ukurusa lugo daka wia dika ti maridi kiyenda ndi na yo daka yenda kunutenga ma proilas hundred and fifty are poisu zet the present moment the doctor extend the doctor extend ne fall run. Ipo pana kazi ubetere kana wachita roboti pana juzo shika pana ngowe kuntindo wani marukuno operate the sea. I'm running a textile here in Gwanda. It's called Zia Skeluguti, she donate. She had donated his colon, she is wonky. Mogustela was. She's donated almost every time. People with disabilities now feel more empowered to assert their rights and become involved in various community development committees, including food distribution committees, HIV and AIDS committees, community projects committees, and ward disability committees, which have opened up new avenues for social, economic, and political empowerment. Tenda matimabu na mazi sheti kapu waji garden. Tapu wa garden ni liya rine. Isusu wakare mara takawa teatiri wa shoma. Ndofu nga munu muna wano gumi. Tika vata chaka o wakashaya kiri kwa u. Ndofu wata 20. Tika chaka o wala wano gwara. Nechi bwere chi HIV and AIDS. Kunua ndiko kusekisha ni kwanza seven randis. Tika tuwa wia tite ji, tite mshandira pamu. Taka tanga ri sangu. Tika tema tishi gogora. Iko zinu pa ni waya. Taka tori ma, pasi mo taka tuwa jika. Personally, I was economically empowered through this project. Right now, you know, I can, I come here. I do my work. It has now become my my occupation. I'm also looking forward to maybe empowering our fellow disabled people as well. 